Tax the rich. Tax those rich people. Another rule of economics. Money, just like people, go where they're treated best. My name's Eric. This is above my pay grade. Let's get into it. Yes, I know. My wife forced me to lose it. Um, I'm sorry for all the viewers who enjoyed the stash. It was majestic while it lived. Now, taxing the rich. Taxing the rich. So, let's think about this logically. If the tax rate was 100%, what would happen? No one would work. Because your work would go straight to the government. And it can't be 0% because the government wouldn't get any income. We could only dream. Anyways, somewhere between 0 and 100% is the sweet spot. Let me introduce you to something called the Laffer Curve, named after a guy named Art Laffer. He said there's a law of diminishing returns when it comes to taxes. And so if you go over a certain percentage, depending on the population, if you go over a certain percentage, even though you're saying, I want to tax more from the rich or from people who uh, make a lot of money, what will happen it'll, is it'll slow down economic growth. And so you'll have less taxpayers. Therefore, the receipts that the government gets, tax receipts the government gets at the end, uh, end up equaling to the same, if not less, than if they had lowered the tax rate. Why is this important? Politicians and people on social media want to pay for things. Um, and I don't know who, anybody who's ever actually said this. So, but theoretically, somebody could say like tax the rich, right? And our tax rate for the rich, uh, depending on what state you're in, is about 50%. If you include state tax, income tax, social security tax, Medicare, Medicaid. So at what point would economic growth cease because you're taking most of the money and giving it to the government? Um, the answer is not tax the rich more. In my opinion, the answer is economic growth, which means taxing less because money moves a whole lot better if it's in the hands of private business than if it's in the hands of the government. We've all experienced this in our life. If you had something that you didn't pay for, did you take care of it as well as you would have if you spent time, energy, and effort to get said item? Usually not. In my case, I know that's true. Same thing happens with the government. If it's not your money, you don't spend it as judiciously as you would if it was. Now, the title of the video, Capital Flight. What happens if the government says, tax the rich? We're going to take your money and we're going to spend it on social programs. Well, in the United States, we're blessed with the ability to just move over state lines. And you've probably, if you live in California, you know, it's kind of hard to get a U-Haul right now, at least one way going out. And it typically hollows out the middle class because money goes where it's treated best. If you are taxing people to death, if you are, uh, say, spending haphazardly as a state or government, it's not just capital flight leaving the state. It can be capital flight leaving the country. Check out the story below about Canada's capital flight problem. And the only other option the government has, if they keep raising taxes, smart money is going to leave either the state or the country. The only other option they have is to lock people in the country and say you cannot leave. 
which uh, seems totalitarian to me. Let me know what you think in the comments. But there is a balance. The whole point of this video, there is a balance between government intervention in economics and the free market. And 100% we are erring towards government intervention in the free market too much. Because the free market would solve a lot of these problems. Inflation, supply crunch, etc. But when the economic incentives are gone, meaning if you make money by solving a problem, the government's just going to take it from you. Who's going to solve a problem? Not me. I'd want to move somewhere else where my labor actually meant something to me and my family. Is that greedy? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, and people say it is. Please give me your wallet. All right, guys. I'm headed out. Got to go home and watch the kiddos. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.